BYD appears to have finally begun deploying its updated Blade Battery 2.0. How do we know this? Well, we know this because today they just revealed the BYD Yang Wang U7. Yeah, the branding is terrible, Yang Wang. But anyway, Yang Wang's U7, it is a really big luxury sedan. And it has 1,006 kilometers of range. 1006. So this is the first, this is the first ever BYD, uh, first ever Yang Wang, I should say, with more than a thousand kilometers of range. And you can see that the energy density of the batteries has increased. So yeah, finally we're seeing, I mean, BYD is not advertising this, but clearly we're seeing because the previous version had the same size battery and it had more than 10% less range. So BYD has substantially increased the range of this vehicle by, I believe, putting in this new blade battery. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching the Electric Viking. It's pretty cool, isn't it? When car manufacturers come out and say, well, we've got a thousand of kilometers of range in this new car, 1,006 to be exact. That said, that is CLTC range. So WLTP range would probably be about 850 kilometers, still a lot, but to get that amount of range, they've had to put in a massive battery. <laughs> the battery, it's a 150 kilowatt hour battery and it weighs about 930 kilograms or just over 2000 pounds, just the battery by itself. Yeah, I mean, the weight of this car is something you would not want to look at if you're buying it, the entire weight of the car. And I'll get to that in just a second. What batteries has it got this car? This, this is how we kind of know that this is a blade battery version two in this vehicle. Well. The 1006 kilometer range version has a 150 kilowatt hour battery, lithium ion phosphate blade battery. I believe it's a version 2.0. And the shorter range battery, it's a 135.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. The range, like I said, of that 150 kilowatt hour battery, it's 1006 kilometers. The range of the smaller battery is 800 kilometers. Now, how do we know that this is a new battery? Well, the previous version of this car with the exactly the same battery size, same wheel size, had 720 kilometers. So they've increased the range by 10%. Um, you can't really increase range of a car without making changes, and it's not different. It's got the same battery uh, and the same wheels. So this does appear that BYD have begun rolling out their new Blade Battery version too. I can't 100% confirm that, but it does look like that is the case because that's a pretty big range increase. But yeah, I mean, those batteries are quite heavy. And as a result, the curb weight of this car is monstrous. With that big battery, it weighs 3,290 kilograms. 3,300 kilograms, which is 7,275 pounds, meaning this car is heavier than a Ford F-150. But that said, I mean, it is a big vehicle. It's nearly 5.3 meter long sedan. So it's massive. And it does have some other pretty cool features. It's got a lot of power. When I say a lot of power, I mean, it's got an insane amount of power. But I'll get to that in just a second. First of all, this is a five seat vehicle, but you can get it in a four seat version. It's 5,265 millimeters long and two meters wide. And it's got a really big wheelbase as well. The wheelbase is 3,160 millimeters. Powertrain. All right, this is um, the stuff of craziness, really. It's pretty cool, though. There's four motors, yeah? And each motor produces the same power, 240 kilowatt, which means this vehicle has 960 kilowatt, which is 1,300 horsepower. 1,300 horsepower. Yeah, I mean... That's crazy, yeah? Top speed is 270 kilometers an hour. I'm not sure you'd want to go that quick in a vehicle weighing this much. I, I'm just thinking, you know, trying to stop 7,300 pounds, you'd need some really good brakes. You'd want regen. You'd want some serious regen. And BYD is not really known for its regen, put it that way. Anyway, um, zero to 100 takes 2.9 seconds. 2.9 seconds. It's fast, but I mean... It's not as fast as what you might think because it's quite a large and heavy vehicle. But this might be the fastest vehicle that weighs this much in the world. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know of anything else in this ballpark except for their supercar. Their supercar is 
lighter than this though. It's about 2,500 kilograms. So what? how much do these batteries actually weigh? Well, they weigh more than my first car. The first car I ever owned was a Toyota Corolla, like a, the GT version. And that weighed 850 kilograms, yeah? The 150 kilowatt hour battery weighs 926 kilograms. So it's about 2,000 pounds. And the smaller 135.5 kilowatt hour battery weighs 903 kilos. The way I see it, you might as well get the 150 kilowatt hour battery because it's only 23 kilograms heavier. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, lithium ion phosphate batteries aren't particularly light. So that's part of the reason. But also part of the reason is that this is one of the biggest battery packs in the world. Now, BYD is saying that the Yangwang U7 is positioned as a million dollar class new energy flagship. Don't know if they mean million dollars in Chinese yen uh, RMB or if they mean it in US dollars. But anyway, the price actually starts at 89,800 US dollars. So 90,000 US dollars. And it's not one of the best selling vehicles in this class. Well, it is, a, you know, it's selling okay. But there are other vehicles from other manufacturers that are selling much better in this ballpark. And I've talked about those on the channel recently. Anyway, there is a plug-in hybrid version as well. I don't know why you'd bother though, because I mean, seriously, the kind of range you're going to get from this car, you know, 800 kilometers or a thousand kilometers. If you go the longer range version, I'm pretty sure you don't need a plug-in hybrid. Pretty pointless, isn't it? BYD is God's A. So BYD has equipped its best automated full self-driving system. Is it full self-driving? No, but it's pretty good actually because BYD didn't make it, which was really smart from BYD. I don't understand why so many companies try and make their own full self-driving. It's dumb. You just get another company who's good at this to help you with it. And that's what BYD's done. Really smart decision. It uses Mementa's Die Pilot 600. So BYD's God's IA is on this car. It's the best of the best. It also has the Dysus Z suspension, which is their adjustable uh, suspension, which is actually pretty damn impressive. It has a drag coefficient that's probably not true. I've got to call BWD out on this one. I don't, I don't personally believe the drag coefficient is 0 0.195 CD. 0 0.195 is pretty much better than almost anything on the market by a substantial margin. And unless I see some actual evidence to say that this is accurate, I think it's probably... Um, maybe a slight exaggeration, put it that way. But this is an impressive car. And I've got to say, even though it's monstrously heavy, it's really quite an awesome engineering feat. A thousand kilometers of range in a car that weighs this much. That's pretty cool. So is this the ultimate luxury sedan? Maybe, maybe it is. And this thing's pretty awesome. Now, speaking of one other thing, charging speed. I just remember that charging speed. It's not the 1000 kilowatt charging you can get or even 1,000, or even a bit more than 1,000 kilowatt charge you can get in some other BODs, it has 500 kilowatt charging. Now, that's still enough if you ask me, but, um, you know, maybe some people would want the 1,000 kilowatt. 500 kilowatt charging means you can probably charge this battery in about 17 hours because it's quite big. Now, I'm just kidding. I think charging speed for the battery takes approximately 20 minutes, 10 to 80%. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. And I think probably for me, the most exciting thing is just to see the energy density of this blade battery appear to have improved, I would estimate the energy density. I think it's the um, the less energy dense version. So BYD has two different blade batteries they're working on. One of them has the really fast charging speeds and 175 watt hours per kilogram energy density, which is actually exactly the same as the Nextra sodium battery from CATL. Um, but there's also a new another battery from BYD. This has more energy density. It's about 190 something, about 195 watt hours per kilogram. I've heard 100, to maybe 190. But between 190 and 195 watt hours per kilogram. And it could be that battery. I don't know which of those batteries it is, but it's It's one of these two batteries. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery, or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. 
Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing, not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.